Harry, FA Cup, obviously that little bit special. What does it mean to you? Um, well, it's a great opportunity, I think, for individuals and um, as a team. Um, over the course of my career, I've seen what you can do for individual players as well as teams like Lincoln last year. They had a, they had a great run. Um, <clears throat> you get a lot of exposure if you have a little run. And um, obviously it means a hell of a lot for... For the, for the football club that you're that you're playing for, there's a there's prize money on it and there's exposure, so it's very important. And all that being said, Charlton no doubt desperate for a run. <coughs> you no doubt desperate for a run as well. Maidstone a tricky tie, but one that on paper does look winnable. Well, yeah, you, you can't go into any game um, taking anyone for granted, really, especially with the FA Cup. I think that's where a lot of people and teams get. A little bit unstuck, um, so we'll give them the full credit that they, they deserve. Um, we've all been prepared already um, that they're going well at the moment, um, so we'll have people in the right frame of mind wanting to do a job for, for Cheltenham Football Club. And is that being in the right frame of mind the crucial thing? I mean, you've been in non league dressing rooms, you know how hungry teams will be when you come up against the league side, and you think, right, well, they're here for the taking, boys. Yeah, well, one thing for sure is. It's, it's not going to be easy. Um, we're going to have to do what we've been doing recently. We're going to have to um, be in the right frame of mind, like I said, and we're going to have to take the game to them. We're at home. We, we need the crowd behind us. They've been absolutely fantastic um, of late, um, and you know we all need to do a, a professional job and um, also enjoy ourselves doing it. <clears throat> and yourself, presumably, absolutely pushing for the start, having you know sort of missed the game through concussion, and then being on the bench and you know, that competing to get back into that winning team it just shows you how hard it is to get into the team at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah, most definitely. It was a little bit frustrating. Um, but obviously at Wickham, I just I was so eager just to get on the pitch and try and make an impact, especially when we went 3-1 down um, and obviously after the great start that we made. But I thought we finished that game really strong. I thought that the boys were absolutely terrific against Lincoln. They'd done a really professional job um, in difficult, difficult um, circumstances that day. And um, we'll be looking to take that into 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 Saturday. So I suppose it's all about giving the gaffer nice problems, isn't it? Yeah, he, he's wanted them, hasn't he? So he's definitely got them. Um, but as a as a whole, that this is the strongest that the squad has been for sure since I've been here. Um, and you know, you look around and there's 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 different different qualities that that people bring. Um, and like I said, whatever the gaffer chooses to go with on Saturday, you'll have eighteen people chomping at the bit to try and try and do the right thing for themselves and the, and for the team. Obviously Cheltenham have been underdogs in plenty of games in recent years and you think you know League Cup ties against Newcastle and, yeah. and West Ham so you know what it's like trying to create a, an upset. What's it like trying to avoid an upset? Um, well we all know we'll be going into the game as favourites but um, to avoid an upset I think it's, it's yeah your frame of mind. I think for the for the team, we need to attack these next couple of days training um, in the right way. And like I said, everyone needs to be on their game and do a professional job. It's as simple as that. And you look around, and there's people who've you know, plenty of people who've, who've played non-league as well. Yeah. Danny Wright, Carl Storer, Moisa, even some of the younger boys. How much actually does their background help avoid any complacency? Yeah, well, we all know that it's not going to be an easy game. And like you say, we've got a lot of experience at that level and the level that Maidstone are playing at the moment. <coughs> um, so, you know, we'll we'll go into the game like we do every game. We'll, we we want to win the game. But um, there will be ways in which that we can we can beat Maidstone. Um, and if we're on our game, then on paper we should beat Maidstone. So it's just about putting that into practice um, and and doing the job. Thank you. Good luck.